There's the adventure tower. That's where we're staying. Up in there. It's pretty neat. So Jessica was just saying like, you know, it's like 70 degrees, but it's like 70 California degrees. Feels pretty good out here. But she was just saying, oh man, like I didn't bring cold weather clothes. Cold weather clothes. <laughs> this is not cold weather for normal people. All right, so into down or downtown Disney. Yeah, Disney. Yeah, downtown Disney. And underneath, look at that bit, sorcerer's hat. That's a thing. Yeah, I guess we go to the this way. One thing that is kind of wild is these monorail rails are super low. Like I could just about touch that. Wow, look at us. We're in downtown Disney, California. This is what this is like walking through here through the people. Look, downtown Disney goes over the road, like just the regular road where cars are. Look at that. There goes a car. Oh, and there's Tortilla Joe's. I think we're going to go there. Ooh. Ooh, monorail, 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 monorail. Look, our first Disneyland monorail, actual. Let's see this good, this thing go across. I'm so excited. This is going to be really cool. Oh, there it is. Look. Oh, it's epic. Oh, man. That's an epic monorail. It's so different. Wow. All right. So we just got these lanyards from the Disney Pin Traders place. And I'm not sure what it part of it was part of our package, but we booked with my friend. Her name is Stephanie Anderson with My Mickey Vacation Travel. We'll put a link in the description because that way you get the exact name. But um, part of the e-package is we get a free lanyard and this cute pin. And what's neat is we get to do the Disney pin trading. So we'll add all our pins to this if we do that. And we started with this cute 100 year anniversary for Disney. One thing that I was not expecting was how different this feels, <laughs> just the temperature from Florida. It really is different. Like I, I kept hearing it that it's different here, even though, you know, it's 70 some odd degrees in Florida, 70 some odd degrees here, but it feels different but it actually does. Oh, there's that jazz kitchen. That place seems neat. You got Beignets Expressed, Wonderground Gallery, the home store. What is that? It's a, a nice tree. Look at this beautiful tree. That is a nice tree. Our next stop is this old Hearthstone Lounge here in the Grand Californian. Oh, they have fancy looking drinks and sounding drinks. We're gonna find out, but first, oh, wow. This has some serious, serious, serious Wilderness Lodge vibes and Animal Kingdom Lodge vibes. They all have those like big, I mean, even Grand Floridian has a really big like open like corridor here. Those chandeliers or whatever, they're massive. Like in all of these Disney resorts, they have some massive uh, things going on here. But anyways, wow, Grand Californian. Hmm. Here's a little bit closer view of those. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if you call them chandeliers, light fixtures, whatever. But they are massive. This whole lobby is just massive. Look at this. It's got this giant. I mean, look at those stones over there. Like. That's a fireplace that you can sit like inside of. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, the smell it smells pretty good. Jessica, JR and I, we found a nice little place to settle for a little bit, enjoy our drinks, chill out before going to another place, Tortilla Joe's. And everything is so weird here. We don't even know what to do here. It's so weird, but like, we're walking up to like Disneyland right now. Disneyland is straight ahead. The Main Street USA station. There's a monorail track right above us that we're walking underneath. Whoa. 
Garden, oh, there's DCA is right there across the street. And there's garlic, gar, gar, garlic, garlic, the garlic guardians. I didn't know that like literally DCA, Disney's California Adventure was right across the street from Disneyland. Like whoever knew that it was literally right across the street from it, like not even across the street, just like right here in the same thing. Disneyland. Okay, I, I, we, we can't get in here. We don't have reservations for today. We can only go tomorrow. I mean, we have multiple days, but tomorrow is the first day we can do it. We just got here, so, you know, today's the first day that we can <laughs> not do this. Oh, wow. Oh, man, I'm so excited for this. This is going to be fantastic. Oh, my gosh. It looks like Hollywood Studios. Looks like MGM Studios. Man, the fun music and the fun little things on the ground here. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a good time. I cannot wait till tomorrow. That's gonna be great. And then, like, like I said, literally right across the way is Disneyland. It's crazy that both these parks are together. Yeah. I heard that both of these parks fit inside, or the they're the size of where they are able to fit inside of the Magic Kingdom. <laughs> no, there's no way. That's what I heard. Is that true? I don't know. And we're so used to walking all the parks. Yeah. But if these, both these parks, both these parks together, Disney California Adventure and Disneyland. Disneyland the Railroad. The train of... Oh, look at that monorail. What a fantastic monorail. <laughs> oh my gosh. So crazy. Population 650 million, elevation 138 feet. Weird. Look, this is going to be a pretty wild adventure here. It's just a vlog, us experiencing this for the first time. It's not about really teaching you, it's not about showing you what's new and exciting. It's just about the experience and the feeling that people get in their souls when they do things fun and exciting and new. Not today though. This is just a sneak preview of some of the stuff that we're gonna do in this particular, huh, I don't even know. Like I'm so lost for words. But in any case, oh my gosh, look at that. It's tram and monorail all in one shot. Holy moly. You know, one of the things that's really cool is these trees and plants and stuff. I don't know if that's for food and wine or if it's just the spring season or what. Oh, and these plants, I'm glad that, no, I'm not glad, but I'm just saying that I really like that instead of plants or flowers, they put uh, succulents in there. That's really nice. And all these little water features. I do love a good water feature. I do love a good water feature. So I think by the time this video is posting, Tortilla Joe's may not be around anymore. I don't know, it's probably gonna take me a while to get all this, all these videos together and posted. So by the time this is posted, they probably won't be around anymore. So anyways, this is what it was like at Tortilla Joe's. It might not be gone all the way. Oh, right. It might be just moving. So we'll just go with that. We'll just say that it's moving, but just in case, um, that over there is the uh, bell tower type of thing. It goes way up there. As you go up the stairs to up, upstairs, there's some upstairs areas. Um, and you can see here some different, you know, places to eat around and whatnot. This is our table here, uh, almost just right at the entrance. Just come into the entryway and turn to the left, and this is our table. It's got a little some decorations up top. Oh yeah, it's a comfy booth to sit on. Um, we're gonna do some uh, table side walk here. Got some sauces for our chips, but we're gonna do some, see how this rolls. Okay. 
Okay, Okie dokie. Perfect. Okay, great. Nice. Thank you. Look at this drink they got. It's like a, it's a, it's a margarita. It kind of looks like, oh yeah, I can imagine it would be sweet. This is, it looks like Lucky Charms. I mean, it has Lucky Charms in it, like the marshmallows. Wow. That is kind of crazy. Yeah, it's really good. That is quite the drink. But it's good. I got an uh, Ohaka Old Fashioned. I like these uh, glasses with the, um, where they're kind of like thick glass. It's got like the blue rim around it. We got this table side uh, guacamole that looks fantastic. Gonna eat these chips with that. Jessica is gonna enjoy her margarita. Maybe day one is coming to a close. Here in Disneyland, <laughs> we're not in Disneyland, we're just in downtown Disney. It's weird saying that instead of Disney Springs, but hey, you know, here we are doing the thing. Disneyland Hotel, straight ahead. We got the monorail, <laughs> what would you call that? The monorail rail is right uh, in front of us, barely over our heads. Pretty wild. Oh, wow. That sunset on that sorcerer's hat, that Disneyland Hotel sorcerer's hat, that's pretty cool. You know what, one thing I do really like, other than this, uh, you know, this sorcerer's hat right here, is the way that this block lettering on this Disneyland Hotel is. We're thinking about hitting the pool. Don't know if we're actually gonna do that or not. Supposedly the pool is 80 degrees which sounds pretty delightful. Oh, it's really cold. It's really cold. Okay, it's so cold. We got in the pool. It's at the Disneyland Hotel. Uh, as you can see, not that way. Uh, it's cold out in the air. Like, if I'm in the water, it's fine, but I know just I as soon as... I don't want to get out. I'm just going to stay here forever. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. I'm cold. I can't, I can't get out. Jerry, I can't get out. I can't. Too. My shoulders can't even get out of the water. Yeah. I don't know what we're doing. I, I'm like, I can see our towels, like, right there. Our towels are right there, but it's so far away. I'm just putting my hands in the air. It feels so cold. Put your hands in the air and see if it feels cold. <laughs> <laughs> Whose idea was this JR? JR? Why would you do Jessica. this to us? <laughs> Jessica. Who is Jessica? I'm regretting all of this. Yeah, me too. I'm not having a good time. I mean, it's okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm trying. Yeah, it's good. Look, we're in Disneyland. I feel like we should go back to the room, put on pajamas, and come back down to get a drink. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. JR, do you want to stay in the water for a little bit? Yeah, it's an e-ticket ride right there. Main Street, Tomorrowland, Fantasyland, Frontierland. And apparently, Jessica's hand is on something warm. Right here. Yeah. Alright, that, that jet was warm, but like, as soon as you get away from that jet, it is cold. Alright. Oh, gosh, our towels are so far away. They're still in the water where it's nice and warm. I got my towels out here. Oh! Gosh, I don't know why it's so cold. It's not cold, but it is. Ah, but I'm not getting back in that water. That's crazy. There you go, guy. That water is not warm. Yeah, I mean, they say it's 80 degrees, but I don't know if it's like 80 degrees warm or if it's just 80 degrees, like, yeah, it's 80 degrees. All right, how do we get out of here? <laughs> I'm not giving up my towel. This is what I'm warm with. Uh, okay. Alright, that was fun.